Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we'll be talking about sharing or passing data between two separate views. So in this example, here, I have this is as our first view. And if we press on this button, you can see that total likes adds up to the number of times we pressed on this button. And if we move here, the total likes is still available. And in fact, we can update it live and it actually changes in all our views. We can also insert data. I will say David, for example, and you can see that it becomes available or shared with our second view. And this happens instantly and it always keeps on updating as you can see right in front of you. Now, this is something that I person personally um, found difficult at the beginning and everyone who explained it or all the tutorials, I feel like they tried to make it as complex as possible. So I'll try to keep this as simple as possible. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome back guys to a new episode of Mastering Programming. So as usual, I will be leaving the simulator open so we can kind of track down what we're up to and what we need to do. Now, pretty much the point of this application is to be able to explain how we can share data or pass it through two separate views. Uh, we will be adding to a value and we're going to be seeing the changes in all our views. And we're also going to be changing in our text field and seeing how that can make a difference or share this value across different views. So we're not gonna touch that content view for now. Now I prepared some things that are necessary uh, for this tutorial already. And that is A, I created a new Swift file. And inside of that file, I created a class, it's called user settings, and I set it to observable object. Now this file will act as our um, model and we will be storing these two separate values, which is our likes and our text field. As you can see, this is our text field right here. And the likes is actually the number of likes uh, showed off here. Now, every time someone, uh, sorry, every time a view tries to access this, it actually access it right directly from this file and every time it changes it it actually publishes it to all the other views also from this file so this is our memory holder kind of thing or the place where we access and change and manipulate all this data next in order to actually use this you need to navigate to the scene delegate and you need to add these two lines right here you're going to create an object called user settings and you're going to give it the value of that object that we uh, sorry that class that we created right here next you're going to add uh, so pretty much this will be somewhere here this line and all you need to do is simply copy it and paste it right here and then add these extra um, components to it so you're passing the user settings object which carries our class right into the content view again we still didn't touch the content view what you need to do now is create a new file and call it media or call it whatever you want. And inside of this, we're actually going to be storing or keeping our three different views. Now you might be wondering, how can we have three different views in one file? And let me just explain something. Um, this is your view, not this file, only this structure. The view ends inside of that structure. So you can very easily create as many views as you want in one file. And this is exactly the same as if this was in three different files called Total Likes, Facebook, and Twitter. Except I just wanted to save some time and make it more uniform. So I saved all of it or I wrote all of it in the exact file. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create our Total Likes view. Our Total Likes view is this part over here. This is actually a whole separate view on its own. This is, uh, so this is the first view, second view, and our third view. Our first view, which is the total likes, is shared and can be seen across the two different views. Let's go ahead and create our first one. So first of all, we're going to say at environment and then say object, just like this. And we're going to be creating a new object called user settings. And I'm actually going to keep the S capital just so we can have some consistency. And that will actually be carrying our user settings class. 
after that let's actually create a view so you can see it's saying it does not confirm to protocol view and i will simply press on fix and actually that didn't do anything <laughs> just remove that and under that let's actually add it just manually so i'm going to say var body i'm going to say some views and you can skip ahead if you don't want this um and we're going to say or we're going to add a hstack and inside of the h stack let's actually add our text and then our number of likes so i'm going to say text and i'm going to say total likes just like this and in underneath that i'm actually going to say text and i'm going to use string interpolation here to pass that value so now what we're trying to do is access the this object in this view so i'm going to say and pay attention to this all i'm going to do is simply say user settings which is the object here and i'm going to say dot likes and that's it now we have access to that object called likes and that's because we called this object which carries that class and that's it we no longer get any errors from this so after that, let's create our Facebook view, which is this view you're seeing in front of you. So everything underneath the total likes. And let's just start by copying everything here. And of course, I want you to remove this. And let's go ahead and start creating our Facebook view. So I'm going to be adding a VStack. And inside of that VStack, let's say text and let's say Facebook. So this is that text over here. Underneath that, let's actually create our button, which is that button right here. So let's simply say button and then give it and then press control, command space so we can open our emojis. And because I can't find our hand, I'm simply just going to use the peace sign. I know it looks dumb, but I don't know. I just couldn't find that one. And let's give this button an action. So all we're going to do is simply open and close a bracket, and we're going to say self dot user settings dot likes, and we're going to add one to that. So now every single time someone presses on this button, a one is going to be added to our total likes. So if you look at here, if someone presses on this button, we get we add a value here and this is exactly what we're doing now um after that let's actually add our text field which is under the button so let's move here and simply say text field open a bracket and inside of that we're going to say insert because that's what it says here comma and then we're going to say text and we want to be manipulating the facebook text field what we that we created so i'm just going to use a dollar sign in order to be in order to cause changes dot and facebook text field and voila we've got no more errors for this as well and now we have our text field created and the value facebook text field which is that one is actually being changed every single time someone types something here let's go back to our media and now we just need to create the twitter view now the Twitter view is actually identical to our Facebook view. Sorry for what just happened, except this should say Twitter. I hope I'm spelling everything right. And what else should change? Oh yeah, we don't want a text field. We just want to be able to display it. You can keep it as a text field if you want to. So I'm going to say self dot user settings the facebook text field and you might be wondering why did we use a dollar sign here and not here and that's because you only need to use the dollar sign if you're going to be changing the value but for now we're just viewing it so now we're actually done with all our three views and it's time to share them and see how we can view them so let's head back to our content view and for this um let's actually open our canvas I'm going to extend this, press resume, and don't worry if it takes too much time. Let's go ahead and delete this, and let's see what we have. 
So the first thing I'm going to be doing is creating a vStack. Now in order to get uh, rid of these boring uh, uh, errors, I'm simply going to display our total likes for now. So I'm going to say total likes. And don't worry if you can't, actually let's just disable it because you won't be able to see in the canvas, but you will be able to see this in the simulator. So don't worry if your canvas keeps on crashing. So now we're, the, we're showing the total likes at the very top of our vStack. After that, let's press on plus button and let's say tab. And we're going to drag a tab view under our total likes. So now we have this view underneath our total likes. And for now, let's just say something like zero. This is most likely going to show me an error. Yes, all right. So in order to avoid getting this error, all you need to do is simply come here and we're going to be creating a new state variable. And I'm going to say selected and I'm going to give it a value of zero. I know this is very dumb. And then we're going to pass that over here. So I'm just going to say selected. There we go. Now you might be wondering how can we pass two separate views and all you need to do for that is simply double click this first and move this and simply say Facebook. Really quick and really easy. Next, do the same exact same thing here. So simply remove this and say Twitter. And let's call this view one and let's call this one view two. So believe it or not, we are actually done and I'll run this for you to see everything. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip. So now that we actually ran this, uh, let's go ahead and test it. So I'm going to press on the likes and you can see the view is appearing here, but let's see if it actually appears in our second view. So it does appear in our second view. Let's see if we can manipulate it and we can. So that is a, a tick. Now let's see if we can say David, for example, David Bullis return. And let's see if this will show in our second view. And indeed it does. Wow, so I'm finally relieved that this actually worked. So this was actually it for this ep uh, for this episode. Um, uh, this was something I personally found it really hard. So thank you so much for watching. And please remember to leave a like and a subscribe. These videos take me uh, a lot of time. So I really appreciate it if you give me some support. Uh, thank you and good luck.